Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Monday mountain weather update. All right, let's start up in Big Sky, Montana, where it did snow a bit more, another four or five inches being reported up there over the last 24 hours. That's your Lone Peak tram cam up there this morning. Should be a great day up there. But really now what I'm focusing on is what's next, and it's the Arctic front that comes barreling south. Let me show you radar. You can't see it yet. Uh, but it's going to come barreling south, 117, 18, and 19. It'll come straight out of British Columbia, uh, along with a load of Arctic air, and dive south through Montana, through Wyoming, and into Colorado in northern New Mexico during that time frame. Those are the areas that will have the most impact, but radar this morning not showing anything appreciable. Some light leftover snow over parts of uh, north uh, northeastern uh, Montana this morning. But that's about it. Now, up in the northeast, here's a storm system, more of a clipper almost. But some light accumulations today through the northeast. Um, light to moderate tomorrow, especially northern Vermont, parts of um, Snow Ridge up to Whiteface. So that northern, those northern aspects of, um, of New York State, northern uh, New Hampshire, northern Maine. Those are going to be the areas that benefit the most over the next couple of days there. All right, here's the water vapor satellite imagery. So low-level moisture here. Um, oranges and reds, drier air at low levels. Your moistures and your whites and your blues, so you can easily, easily see these storm systems. So pretty big low there. Another one behind it. This low right here, number one, is going to kind of stay up in here, but it will help to redirect the flow. Um, so that when number two, this uh, area of low pressure, it eventually follows a similar track, but as it comes down and it sweeps down through BC into Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado, it brings with it an Arctic front. That's the, that's the storm system I'm really watching, is that, that second low. The first one will help to kind of grease the skids, and then the second one will will drop south. All right, so here are my bullet points this morning. Next storm system 117, 18, 19, plus an Arctic blast with air temperatures of minus 15 to minus 25 at times through parts of Montana, Wyoming, and also a lot of Colorado. That's air temps, not wind chill. Wind chills are going to be even colder. Uh, and then there's a, a quick moving minor front that kind of comes in on its coattails, 119, 120, with some very light additional stone, maybe a slight reinforcing shot of some colder air. Uh, up in the northeast in California, no change from yesterday, no major storm systems. All right, here's my timeline. Best odds of snow for Big Sky, Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, Interior, BC, and the northeast. So for Big Sky, um, light today, and then moderate 117 with the main part of the Arctic front, and then light with that trailing front, 118, 119, light accumulations. Wasatch, most of it comes through afternoon, evening, 117 and 118 light accumulations. You're more of, again, like a glancing blow with this. Everything's going to kind of stay just slightly to your east with the storm track. Tetons, 117, 18, 19, light to moderate. Colorado, afternoon, evening, 117 and 118, moderate to heavy. And then light, 119, and you can see everything else. The next best shot of snow for interior BC is going to be 116 with moderate accumulations around Revelstoke in particular. All right, let me just give you a taste of this cold air. I showed you these yesterday, these extended forecasts for high and low temps. Here's the update. This morning for Denver, you can see the Arctic blast coming in. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That's the, that's the heart of it. Uh, with potentially uh, well below zero temperatures at night, 10, 15 below zero, not out of the question in Denver at 5280 and single digit highs. For a couple of days and there is going to be snow accumulation in denver with several inches likely high snow ratios very efficient flow with this cold air now higher up in the mountains at breckenridge at about 9600 feet you can see the arctic blast coming in saturday sunday monday with 20 to 25 degrees below zero at night air temps not wind chill and below zero even during the day on sunday and monday so very cold up in the mountains of colorado coming with this blast yellowstone lake um, you can see the blast coming, not quite as cold as Colorado, but still single digits by day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and well below zero at night, potentially closing in on 30 below Monday morning up there at Yellowstone Lake. All right, let me show you snow accumulation over time. So this is, uh, this is snow accumulation. I widened the view to show you the entire country, and we'll go pretty far out with this. We'll start at about lunchtime today. You can see some light, light blue. That's under three inches of accumulation up there in parts of Montana. And you can see the snow kind of rolling through the Great Lakes heading towards the northeast. All right, so here's lunch. There's the afternoon. 
There's the evening hours today. All right, here's early tomorrow morning. This is Tuesday, January the 14th. There might be just a touch, maybe a tenth of snow sliding through Wyoming, the northern mountains of Colorado, maybe brushing parts of the high Uintas, and maybe a tenth of an inch of snow in the Wasatch. Okay, here we are. This is uh, lunchtime Tuesday. There's late Tuesday. Uh, here's Wednesday in the morning. You can see the snow up there in the northeast. Some light accumulations through uh, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, and New York State. All right, here we are late on Wednesday the 15th. The west is totally dry. There's some high-pressure ridging right here before the Arctic front comes in with warmer temps. Um, here we are early on Thursday the 16th. Here we are late on the 16th and look to the north. There's our Arctic front coming out of BC. And again, that's probably your best shot of snow is on the 16th up around Revelstoke and Kicking Horse, Red Mountain and Fernie. Here we are early Friday the 17th. In the morning, the front, the Arctic front is dropping south through parts of uh, Montana. It may brush Idaho. And then it starts moving into Wyoming, lunchtime on Friday. And then by late Friday, it's dropping down through Wyoming, starting to uh, snow lightly over the Wasatch and the northern mountains of Colorado. Here we are by early on Saturday the 18th. The front is fully engaged in Colorado. Still snowing with residual snow over Wyoming, parts of Utah. And when you see those, those greens and yellows start to emerge, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight inches of snow. Um, so here we are early. This is Saturday. Here we are lunchtime Saturday the 18th, and you can see snow for Denver in the Front Range. This is late on Saturday. Snow's dropping down in the southern Colorado, northern New Mexico, where we could see several inches of accumulation through Cuchara, Taos, Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire. So here's early Sunday morning. Um, this is Sunday, January 19th. Look to the north. Here's that trailing minor weak front coming out of BC, dropping down into Montana, Wyoming. Very light additional snow. Okay, there's lunchtime on Sunday the 19th. Um, there's the afternoon evening of Sunday the 19th. It drops all the way down into parts of Colorado. Um, and there is early morning of Monday the 20th. You can see that trailing front coming out of Colorado. And there's late on the 20th as it finally moves out into the plains. Okay, let's talk um, snow accumulation. Here's my official forecast when you take all that into account, all of today through the 19th. So we'll start in the Wasatch. This, you're really right on the edge, right on the periphery. So I think three, four, five inches is probably going to do it. Five might be a little bit optimistic. Um, I pulled things down about an inch from yesterday's forecast. Um, okay, in, in Wyoming, about six inches for Grand Targhee and Jackson Hole. Potentially eight over in Hogadon. You've got more of the direct flow through there. Up in Montana, probably a bunch of eights through Red Lodge and Bridger Bowl and Big Sky. Um, and then less as you head up towards Whitefish and uh, Discovery. Now, Interior BC, I've got six up there at Monument Basin, about eight for Revelstoke, and about four at Kicking Horse. Those would be your prime spots, especially on the 16th. Um, with some snow left over for the 17th. Uh, I don't have much for Idaho. You're really out of the flow, and I really don't have much of anything for the Pacific Northwest uh, running down into the Sierra. You're just totally out of the flow with this. Okay, in Colorado, most of the snows in the central and northern mountains, especially as you go east towards Summit County, the Continental Divide, uh, running up into the northern mountains, we could see a foot of snow over Cameron, 14 up around um, Storm Peak, Mount Werner, uh, Mount Circle, Buff Pass, Steamboat area, higher up. Uh, tens up there around Loveland, A Basin, Winter Park, uh, running down into Summit County, about eight over Vale Pass, um, about eight for Snowmass, Aspen, six in Crested Butte, bunch of sixes as you kind of roll down towards the San Juans, and some sixes through Cuchara, uh, Taos, Ski Santa Fe, and Angel Fire, and those numbers could go up, depending on the movement and the speed of that front. If it gets hung up, it looked like it might get hung up yesterday, so the numbers were bigger. I brought them down today because it looked like the front might come through just a little bit faster. Okay, up to the northeast, again, light snow today, light to moderate tomorrow. Um, and you can see the numbers here, four, five, six inches through uh, central northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Also, Snow Ridge and Whiteface, six to eight inches there. Some of that in Snow Ridge is going to be lake effect. Um, and then not much as you go south um, into Massachusetts and uh, southern parts of New York barely an inch in some of those areas. 
Okay, guys, we'll end on the western map here. Again, it's all about this, this Arctic blast with this cold front coming in, 117, 18, 19. That should bring efficient snow production, some orographic snow, and a lot of cold air. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.